Alright guys, so some of you might just open up your share camera and do videos that way. But Rec Room has made an easier way. Oh, And that is the streaming cam. Say goodbye to your stupid share camera and use the streaming cam. But you may be asking, how do I do that? Well, well in this video, I will show you how to do that. So let's go on with this. Alright, so this only works for PC VR, but um, you, what you want to do is, uh, you want to open up your watch, or you can just face the watch on your wrist, then we're going to go to settings, go to the advanced tab, and turn streaming cam on. Uh, I'll go into POV so you can see, you'll see uh, follow, it'll make the camera follow you. Uh, but I want to switch to walking mode, just so that, yeah. See, the camera follows me any everywhere. Face, just means the camera faces me. Hello. And you'll see teleport only. Uh, there we go, there's tears all the options. Teleport only means that if you walk, the camera won't follow you. But if we switch to teleport, by going to movement mode, settings, and turning that to teleport, the camera will follow us. You can also turn around. Uh, to face the camera. Uh, POV just means your view, so what you're seeing right now. And we have got handheld camera. Now this is what every, pretty much everybody uses to make their videos. So you're going to press use. And I'll turn it off so... Um, Alright, so, we have got this camera right here, if I enable it again, uh, we can, we can pull the, tr as you can see it's facing, um, that way, you see my hand, um, but if we pull the trigger, it'll make it so that it faces you. So, hi, this is um, really useful for making rec room videos, especially for skits such as, hmm. Ma this is really useful for making intros for your like videos. So you know how people go like, hey guys, today we're gonna do blah, 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 blah. Well, it's this streaming camera right here it's really useful for doing that and if I turn it off so you can see what it looks like um, this is what it should look like obviously I won't freeze for you because I have it off but if you turn it on it'll, the camera will be facing you or if you or if you pull the trigger again uh, which I don't have to do because I enabled it again the camera will face that way. Do that. Alright, so we're now going to move on to the settings of the streaming cam. Also, to enable streaming cam, you go to the advanced tab in your settings, enable it, and go to stream mixer right there. Alright, so we have settings. Frame rate means how fast it is. I have this set to 30 because it's enough. A 45 just makes the clip a little smoother. 60 makes it a lot smoother. Oh, that's 90. This is 60. 60 makes it a bit more smoother. A 90 makes it even more smoother. Uh, but I have this set to 45 most of the time just because it's enough. Uh, field of view just means um, the field of view, so if we set this to 50, the 
camera field of view will be at 50. If you set this to 20, the camera view will be the field of view will be at 20. As you can see there. Uh, de by default, uh, this is what it should look like when it's set to default. Uh, 90, pretty far away, but if you s go really close to the watch menu, you can still see it. 120, yeah. I have this set to default because it's recommended. And here from plays slash is. So this basically this controls where the audio is heard from. So uh, if we get our camera again. <coughs> oh hi. Uh, we can hear me from. Oh. We can <coughs> hear me from the player or whoever speaking. Stream cam streaming camera uh, just means you can hear people from the um you can hear people from the camera so i can put it like over there hi oh i went past it but for now i'm just going to set that to players play slash is green screen i am not sure how to do that but Basically, in Rec Room's video, um, you can do green screen. They explain that you can have special backgrounds, but if you just want a green screen, a uh, normal green screen, then you can use the chroma key. The by the way, the editor I use is Kind Master. There should be a watermark somewhere, but yeah, that's the editor I use. Uh, I'm going to set that to off. 5 meters means that the, the uh, green screen is five, 5 meters away. 10 meters means green screen is far... Uh, well, it, not 5. 10 meters away from... Uh, you. 100 meters, 100 meters away from you. I have this set to off, but... But, um... Uh, yeah, you can do whatever. You can fiddle around with it. And if you noticed in the field of view option, I'll switch to POV so you can see. So these are all the settings. So we, ha we got frame rate, controls, how smooth the clip is. <coughs> field of view um, controls the field of view. So you can switch this to 120. Uh, here from controls where the audio is coming from green screen green screens <laughs> but you'll see a little option right here um it's hard to see but i'll put the field of view so you can see it it says 360 panorama 180p and it says warning experimental so if i switch it back to normal again uh, if we enable this as you can no see already the clip is a bit weird but it's a pretty cool feature because if we turn this to follow and if i get off teleport because that's really annoying movement mode we can the place will be a little like 3d so yeah that's pretty cool So if I get my handheld camera. So this is what it looks like when you're holding the camera yourself. Oh, I'm not on teleport. Uh, if I turn it off here, you can see that the camera's completely normal. And, and you can do whatever. The only thing that I don't know how to use is of course green screens i'm not sure how to use it but i know how to use videos with green screens in the backgrounds themselves so that, that's pretty cool um but i'm pretty sure you just use a chroma key 
add a background and then yeah they, you can get your background um if you want me to uh i'm also i am pretty much out of ideas so if you have any suggestions for me please leave a comment it will mean the blooming world to me and subscribe leave a like on the video but if this video didn't help you then you can hit the dislike button like it's there for a reason i mean come on why wouldn't it be there and oh accidentally grabbed the camera but yeah i'll see you in the next video if anyone gives me a freaking suggestion um this video will probably not blow up but if it does then this will help quite a lot of people and also please remember uh that this only works on pc vr so if you're not on pc vr get steam vr oculus and plug your cable to the pc and you also need rec room installed and your account logged in so Make sure you do all those steps and you should get the streaming cam in your advanced settings. If you're still not sure uh, how to get to your settings th itself, then um, I'll switch to POV and show you. So this is what the setting looks like. So yeah, we've got the streaming cam thing. Uh, so what you do is you open up the watch, just like normal. Uh, you can also face your, the, the watch on your wrist to open it. I'm pretty sure everyone does that. But you can also go to face gestures, click on the setting icon, and go to watch. Oh, someone. Um, what you do is you click on this um, settings icon or cog icon or whatever you call it. And then you, uh, whatever your tab you're in, um, go to advanced, and you'll see streaming cam. You want to switch that to on, and you want to press stream mixer. It'll be brought with all these options. You can go to handheld camera, and that's what most people do use handheld camera but if you want you can use some of the other settings such as teleport only face um, follow teleport only as I just said or POV which isn't that useful because you're already in POV but if I get my camera again but yeah, that's basically how to use the streaming cam in the rec room. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I might be able to help you. But as I said like three minutes ago, please give me video that ideas on that's on the rec room because I ran out of ideas. So, but yeah, anyways, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.